Hello and thank you for choosing kingofbounce.com. In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to troubleshoot and properly use your generator. First thing you want to do with your generator, which is done by our staff before we deliver the generator, is check the oil. If the oil is low, the generator will not start. Will not run. Want your dipstick to at least be halfway. That's so. Every generator has some sort of dipstick or oil tube located on the side of the motor. This particular unit is a power stroke generator. 50, 500 watt. All of our generators come with gas. Typically the average generator, depending on the model, takes anywhere from four to five gallons of gas. Depending on the load of your generator, which basically means how many items you have plugged into it, the generator typically runs for anywhere from four to six hours. If you have four items plugged into it, it's going to be four hours or less. If you have one item plugged into it, you're going to be six plus hours in your rental. Every generator has an on and off switch, a fuel cutoff switch, and a choke switch in order to start the generator. This particular unit the on and off switch is spring loaded so it's always on unless you hold the button off. Some generators typically have a toggle switch that has an on and off sequence. Before trying to start your generator make sure the gas is in the on position. Sometimes they're stored in the off position when they haven't been run for a little while. Also before you start your generator make sure that the selector switch is in the choke position. This particular unit has a back and forth dial. This is actually a different generator, a 9000 watt generator, and the, and the choke is located in this position. So the choke is located on different positions per different generators, but you always have to start your generator in the choke position unless it's already warmed up. Okay, now that our gas is full, our oil's been checked, the fuel's on, the choke is on, and the on-off switch is selected to on, we're gonna start the generator. Typical generator should start anywhere from three to five pulls. If it's not starting, you either have the fuel shut off, off button turned off, or something is wrong with your initial startup process. So as you may have noticed, once the engine starts on any generator, once the choke position is turned to run, you're ready to go. Each generator is different, but each generation generator contains several outlets. This particular unit has 20 amp outlets. With the amount of wattage this unit holds, typically runs two to three of our blowers, depending on the circumstances. When you start a generator, you always let it warm up for at least a minute or two before you plug your items in to use. Otherwise you can cause it to stall. 
once you're plugging an inflatable in, use either outlet is fine. Once you plug it into the outlet, you want to wait for that and that unit, the entire inflatable, to blow up completely. Once the unit is blown up, the wattage drops on the blower, which therefore won't pop your circuit breakers. If you fire up two, three blowers all at the same time, you'll create such a load on the generator that these circuits will pop. If they do pop, that's fine. You can always reset them, but you want to turn your blowers off and start over. You could also cause a generator, again, to stall if you're overloading the generator. So remember, one circuit at a time, let the inflatable blow up. Another circuit, let the inflatable blow up. And obviously, one circuit breaker controls this side, another circuit breaker controls this side. So once the inflatable is actually blown up, the wattage drops down and then you can use your other circuit. So let's say example, you have one on here, it's completely blown up. Then you go to this unit, this one's completely blown up. And let's say you have a popcorn machine you're using. You can attempt to use either one of these bottom outlets, which would be right at your max 20 amps, depending on what the draw is on the, on the popcorn machine or the other item you're trying to use. When using a generator and your extension cord, I always recommend that you wrap the extension cord a little bit around the unit so that way in case somebody trips on it, it doesn't just come right out of the unit. Plus, with the vibration of the generator, it doesn't vibrate the actual plug out of the unit. Remember to try to have your generator located in the position you want it prior to starting it as well because if you try to move it when it's running, it could potentially cause damage to the generator and or stall or, or mix the oil with the gas because it's actually tipped, creating oil to get inside the carburetor. So that could be an issue. So never move the generator while it's running. Always make sure your electrical ends stay plugged in nice and tight. If the electrical end is hanging out a little bit loose from the outlet, it can cause the cord to overheat and therefore either melt the cord or the cord end or pop your circuit. Remember if the circuit does pop, potentially it could need time to cool off. So you need to give it five minutes or so, let it cool off. It's just like a circuit breaker in a house. Sometimes you can't just re-trip them. With our rentals, we do not provide extra gas. It's recommended that you supply your own extra gas can if you plan on using it for more than four hours. Be sure to store your gas can within 30 feet of the generator so the heat from the generator doesn't cause an explosion. Also keep the muffler end of the generator away from gas and the inflatable so you don't melt holes or nobody gets hurt. There's also some safety warnings on the actual generator that you could read if needs be. So this is a quick sample of a different generator. Notice the choke and the run switch. Notice the gas turn off switch. So they're all different. So they're usually connected to the bottom of the gas tank. You wanna make sure that's in the on position and notice the on and off switch. So they're all very similar. So as long as you follow the steps provided, you shouldn't have a problem with your generator. We service and check all the generators and top them off with gas before they leave our warehouse. And that concludes our generator starting troubleshooting video. Thank you for choosing kingofbounce.com.